thought for the day that comes on uh, Radio 4 at 10 to 8 every, every weekday morning uh, has a rule that it's, um, it must be religious people uh, giving the thought for the day. Have you got any idea what we can do to change that? Well, I think there have been some changes. I think once or twice they have given over to humanists to um, make the thought for the day. But I agree with you that it should not so exclusively be for people of faith. I think it should be broader. It should take a representative cross-section of different groups and different organisations and individuals so that you get thought for the day being a wide-ranging perspective um, from a lot of different people and a lot of different belief systems. My question was, what do we do about it? Well, well, there is a lobby. There is a lobby. I think the British Human Association and National Sick Society have been involved in campaigns to lobby the BBC to uh, uh, change that policy. I think if you go to their websites, you'll find there's a, there's a, there's a campaign you can sign up to there. Thank you. Harry, the uh, Just a point of information, uh, our local BBC Radio Leicester also has a thought for the day every weekday morning at 6.45 and I get a monthly spot in that. Uh, one, one and a half minutes over a non-religious, humanist, atheist point of view. So I think the kind of the chinks of light in their arm, I think it's going to be a slow thing, but, it, but they are beginning to realise that the discrimination against the non-religious uh, has got no real foundation. Yes? Well, clearly that's easy, because uh, 6.45 in the morning, that's all <laughs> <one> God. <laughs> <laughs>